Today, I'm going to be talking to you about my tone and the gear behind my sound. Every piece of gear I use has to contribute to my sound in at least one of these three ways. It has to contribute to the warmth, to the smooth overdrive that you hear in all my videos, and the touch sensitivity and response while playing. These days, I'm using my custom LSL Satikoi 24. This guitar is loaded with a set of Guitar Mori Aries pickups. These pickups give me exactly what I just mentioned, the warmth, that smooth overdrive, and really nice response while playing. As I mentioned, every piece of gear I use has to positively impact my tone, which is why I use Purple Plectros. These picks are made out of UHMWPP, which is a very strong plastic, but it offers a very warm and round sound. I'm currently using my signature model, but there are other models that Purple Plectrums offers with the same material. The difference with my model is the shape and the bevels that are designed for my style, my tone, my sound. The strings I use are very important to me as well. I spent quite a few months in 2023 trying out different sets from different brands just to see what would fit my sound best. I've been using the string source for quite a few years and I'm still using the string source amethyst set for standard tuning, which is a 9 to 44. Now these strings are optimized tension, which is a huge plus for me. So they offer that really warm sound and then the playability is really nice because of that optimized tension. Finally, let's get to the most important part of the sound, which is the pedals. I'm using Fractal Audio. I've been using Fractal Audio for some years now. I'm currently using the FM3. Now, despite what modeler I'm using, I always go for a Bogner amp simulation because I love the overdrive and gain characteristics of those amp models. I always pair that with a Mesa 4x12 tab IR. The delay is pretty simple. I set it to what I'm playing. Sometimes it's quarter notes, sometimes it's eighth notes, dotted eighths, half notes. That varies quite a bit. For the reverb, I always use Cathedral reverbs. I find that Cathedral reverbs sound very natural to my ears. When I'm doing more of the shred stuff, I turn down the mix. When I'm doing more of the melodic stuff, I turn it up. And finally, the most important part is adding a pedal in front of the processor to improve the response and touch sensitivity, as well as the tone. One of the pedals I'm using these days is the Etronics Nectar Tone Sweetener. This is a two-in-one overdrive and buzz pedal. I use both the settings, sometimes the overdrive and sometimes the buzz. It has excellent sustain. It also has that smooth overdrive that I like. The only thing that's different about this from the rest of my setup is it is on the brighter side, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Considering everything else in my setup is warm and adding to that warmth, the brightness that comes from the Nectar Tone Sweetener is actually very pleasant. The other pedal I'm currently using these days is the LSL Lucid OD. I love this pedal. It is a transparent overdrive, which is why I'm plugged into this pedal most of the time. This one here preserves my tone. It preserves my sound and takes all those nice characteristics we talked about, that smooth overdrive, that warmth, that touch sensitivity, and just amplifies it. It makes it way better. So my tone is thicker, my tone comes off as warmer, and the touch sensitivity is absolutely amazing. This pedal gives me more of that response that you would imagine, but it also improves the harmonics. So it does not change my tone, it just makes my tone way nicer. That's the best way I can explain it. Now before you leave, I have two very exciting announcements. Listen up for both. The first one is a new broadcast channel on Instagram. 
dedicated to three guitar tips and three mini lessons. You simply join the broadcast channel. It's a nice little community I'm putting together over there. And you'll be notified when there are new videos or messages. You will get all that directly to your Instagram inbox. So do check that out in the description. And the second announcement is the solo contest happening right now. You still have time to enter. Almost all the gear I talked about in this video is offered in that contest, including some credit towards your very own custom LSL guitar. Be sure to check that out as well in the description. Thank you for watching. Until next time.